Now I'm here today with Sonia Bates Ace, Lee Kerry and Lee, you've brought these products in today, the new lavas from Sonia Bates and you've explained all about something called The Edge. <laughs> now how are these little strange bottles of weird and wonderful colours going to give me an edge in fishing? Well, you know what it's like Matt, everybody's looking for an edge all the time. Um, you, you know, you might get an edge, you work really hard, you, you do really well at your fishing and you catch a lot of fish, but there's always something you can look for. There's always something that you can improve on. And sometimes in certain circumstances, different types of fishing, your bait plays a massive part, right? right? So at Sony Baits, the, the team there have done an amazing job creating this product. It really is quite a complex system that's gone into it, but what it is, is effectively an additive for your bait. But it's not an additive in the way of like it smells really good or you know it tastes really good. It does both those things anyway. Yeah, we know yeah. it does those things, right? But it's more the action and the way it works once it's in the water. Okay, so we've got five different flavors. I've got the krill one here, and it's actually really heavy, and that's what I really like about it. It sinks down to the bottom, which is where I'm looking to catch the fish. Right. And then when a fish comes in, or when a fish comes to look at the bait or investigate into your bait, the cloud around the bait is a just it puffs up and hangs in the water, and I think that's wow. massive. Especially, you can just imagine it when everybody's bait sat there, and your bait's got a pink cloud around it, or whatever it may be, the fish are gonna come straight in to have a look. So, we've actually all been using these for a while now, and it's quite scary how you can put it on your bait when you're like not getting any bites, and you might start getting indications, and you'll catch a fish, and you think, really? Because you know me, I'm not a math. I'm not no, going to stand no. like the massive one for flavours and additives. But I think this takes it a step further because it's not just a flavour or an additive that you're looking to add to your bait. It actually makes your bait work differently, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. why I think it's so important. So I brought a few few things to show you because I actually think it's got loads of applications. So this is say, a ball of ground bait. So put a nice uh, dollop on here. Put a nice S for Sony baits. Look, perfect. Nice. All right. Not the neatest you don't need a lot of it. Then. No, no, you don't need a lot of it at all. When your ball goes in, you can see your ball going in and it sits to the bottom. And already you see it hasn't quite started to break up, which is great. It means everything's going to get to the bottom and look to be where I'm looking to catch my fish. Okay, so then what happens is the water starts to break the lava yeah. up. You can and see it's it working. Yeah, you can see it working straight away. And now look, you can see as the ball starts to break down, you've got a pinky cloud that starts to appear around the... And like you say, rather than rising up off it, it's actually dropping down, everything's pinned to the bottom. That's right, it? that's yeah. right. I mean, I've seen other uh, flavours and additives do it and they come up in a big cloud and it hangs and it goes up in the water. So I can almost imagine you having problems with liners and things like yeah, that. Yeah. Whereas this is actually working where you want it to work. So if you imagine that, brought my uh, Bertie the Barbell along here, look to show you, you can imagine once he comes in and puffs it up, Wow. All of a sudden, you've got a pink cloud created in amongst the bait, and it really, really does make your bait stand out differently. You and can, that's what I think you're looking yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, you, you know. can imagine if sort of this, you're fishing a big clear lake, and there's ten anglers all chucking a method feeder out. Yeah. If yours is the one with a little bit of colour and flavour in the water, it's just that little sort of difference. Well, it's it? giving you the edge. Yeah, it's yeah. It's giving you the edge. Now, there's there's five in the match range to play from. There's actually five in the specimen range, which right. I'm sure we'll all be trying as well. Definitely. All right. So we've got F1 and F1 green. Bloodworm. Yeah. Pineapple. Now that one smells. I might put some of that on my ice cream. <laughs> and this is krill that I've put in here that I put on. If you actually see, if I squeeze it out, it's denser than water. So it sinks straight away, look. Straight Ooh, to the yeah. bottom. Brilliant. So it doesn't hang around at the top, it gets down to the bottom. You can put it on your pellet waggler. Do you reckon if I fed a ball of pellets and wrote, eat me, <laughs> I'd get more bad? Well, why not? You might do. You could do different colours. Have you got the time to do all that? Definitely, you, definitely. Right? I mean, I'm looking at these, we've got some little uh, bandoms here. You could even put a little bit on a bit of a hook bait, I'm assuming, could you as well? Absolutely. I mean, the camp boys have been using it for that for ages, you see. They've been using it putting it on the hook baits, on the pop-ups, anything yeah, yeah. like that. You can see where I put that in now, you imagine if you had that and a fish comes along, you can see the pink that then hangs in the water. Yeah, so yeah. what you actually got is, any disturbance of your bait is then what creates the, the pull for the fish. And Fantastic. that's what I think is really important. Rather than just having them kicking around all yeah, over yeah. the place, it's on your bait and that's, I really do think they've done a great job.